Working in the emergency department every day as a clinician on the front lines, what I'm seeing is really a public health crisis and a patient crisis. The emergency department is the front line in the opioid crisis. We see broken lives and we see them every day more and more frequently over the last five, ten years. The escalation in overdose deaths has been due to a change in the illicit opioid supply. For example, fentanyl and novel opioids that are more potent. And so the lay of the land has really shifted and it's a moving target. It is the moral mandate of the emergency department to act because we are the safety net. We're the safety net of the healthcare system and we are the safety net of society. And one of the ways we're taking this charge is through our research. Our division is casting a wide net in understanding opioid use disorder. We look at different age groups, we look at different demographics and risk factors. Each and every one of our researchers are focused on one critical piece where they can really dig deep and they can intervene. We are transforming the landscape of overdose prevention and treatment through research and by extension to understand what we can do to effectively treat these disorders and prevent them from happening in the future. And if we can get it right, we can grab folks in that vulnerable moment and help to find them a, a path forward. Through my research, I feel like I'm attacking the opioid epidemic by trying to anticipate some of these novel substances that are coming through the illicit drug supply and examining the clinical effects that they will have on our patients. That is the key to understanding the emergence of these novel substances so that we can develop evidence-based solutions to improve patient care for people who are suffering in the opioid epidemic. My research looks mostly at the medication, identifying patients who are in withdrawal and starting them on high-dose buprenorphine. What's the best way to get them started? What is the most effective dosage to give people in my emergency department? How do we get them linked to care? Building the pathways for patients to continue their treatment once they're discharged. We see the patients that come in, sometimes non-fatal opioid overdose, and then over the next year or two, it's not uncommon for those patients to die. That's really the main point of the research, is to figure out how to keep people alive long enough so that we can get them on treatment. The question that gets me most excited to do this work is how do we make access more equitable? Among all of the people who have substance use disorders, there are a lot of disparities. My research looks at inequitable screening procedures of pregnant women used to detect substance use disorders. And so what we've discovered is that women of color are tested at a much higher rate than Caucasian women. And this often culminates in child protective service reporting, which can ultimately lead to children being separated from their parents. We know people who have criminal legal system involvement are less likely to access treatment than people who don't. And some of the research I do tries to get at what we can do to change that. My research primarily focuses on better tools, better methods of identifying substance use disorders. Then from there, managing substance use disorders because patients need treatment. I hope the cumulative impact of my work is that we change policy and practice. My hope is that my research will bring equity and dignity. Ultimately, the goal is just to keep people alive, but to get there, we have to really change what we're doing. The work that this team is doing, the work that consumes and that drives these researchers is to make sure that we can take data and turn it into clinical intervention so that we can improve people's health. The opioid epidemic is one of the most urgent public crisis emergencies of our lifetime. It's crucial that we help understand through research 
how to improve the life and welfare of our patients and improve the communities in which we serve.